Right guys, we just turned up on site and have a look at the state of this. You know when we say you buy cheap, you buy twice? Well, this is what we mean. Absolutely disgusting. Even worse is this installer's only used one Cat5 cable to power and transmit video for these two cameras because it's going to save him, what, 10 minutes? Unbelievable. Right, let's go and make this right. What else I've just found, guys? Boom. A nice IP rated hole in the back box. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Camera off now. Straight away you can see it's not looking too good, is it? You can tell that's been flooded with water. No surprise. How many screws does he use on the camera? We've got one, two. One missing there. Surprised he's used two to be fair. Wow. What on earth? How are these people getting away with this stuff? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How tight that cable is. I can't even pull it out. So you've got the main cable going into the house there and then it splices into this cable which goes to the other camera. We've got a few cores for your power and your video for this camera. I don't think I've seen a job as bad as this before. There's not even any silicon in the hole to prevent water or moisture in grass. Absolute joke. It's disgusting, it really is. Let's get this saw today. Just unscrewed the camera plate. Look how much rust is gathered in there. Just realised the back box isn't even straight. Look how wonky it is. That should be perfectly vertical. Well, I'm not surprised, guys. I'm not surprised in the slightest. Right, so we're just going to strip all this cable off. It's not reusable in the slightest. Get it rewired. The customer actually wanted the camera up here somewhere in line with that other camera, but the installer did not listen and put it where he wanted to to make the job easier. So let's get all this cable off, get these pins out. White pins. Why is he not using black pins? You tell me. Cowboy. We found here. Gland, not sealed properly. There's a surprise. Alright, so we've got camera off, clips out, cable off. We've left that box there because that's the same height the customer wants the, the other camera. Luckily, I've actually got a gland with me, a black gland. So we'll be able to fix that as well. But now we'll get us a fresh run of external Cat 5e. Get it on. We're just gonna pin it with black cable pins. Customer does not want any PVC piping for what it's worth. It's only one cable thickness, so it's not gonna be in your face compared to 20 mil PVC piping. Let's crack on with that. Right, so we are using the Balan system. Not a massive fan of these systems, but it certainly is a lot better than what the previous guy did. At least you know it's safe and prim and proper. Pop it into the box, pin it down neatly with black cable clips, and then we'll put that other camera back up there. Luckily enough, I've got a spare one of these. We'll just replace that entirely, because that just looks ridiculous. There we go, that's how that should look. We'll start tacking this cable down now. Put that camera on before we do go down. Unlike the previous installer, as you all probably already know, you always have the nail on the bottom side of the cable, the, so the nail actually holds the weight of the cable. If not, it'll end up drooping or it'll snap with the weight of the cable. This will end up deteriorating in a snap or it'll just fall. That is the proper way to do it. Just carry on nice and straight, nice and level. Have our first camera. 
Time is up, so now we're just going to put this dodgy back box back on. We've advised the customer to change it due to that hole. But we don't have any in stock right now and the customer wants it to do now. So all we're going to do is just cover it with some um, waterproof silicon temporarily. So just going to mark it. We've marked it with the Marksman deep hole marking pen. Really handy bit of kit. Makes life so much easier. Get these holes drilled, get the box on, cable down, meet up and marry up with this cable and follow it straight down to the entry point and do a, a water loop or a drip loop. Then we can uh, be inside in the vault because it's so windy, so cold out here. Look at that, beautiful weather. Right, that's the second camera now mounted and fixed. Pop the camera on. Cable clip it down and we're nearly there. And that is all done guys. Two cameras, nice neat wiring, water drip loop, silicon the hole. When we come back to change that back box up there, we're just going to put a uh, cover plate on that cable there. Just so it looks a bit neater, a nice black or brick coloured cable cover. And that'll be it. The job is a good one. Customer is delighted, as I'm sure you can imagine. Everything done to standard. Happy days.